cut the red tape. Let's set free our dreams, and yes, let's make America great again. And one of the ways we're going to do that is by getting rid of a lot of unnecessary regulation. Thank you very much. What, what has to happen now in these 11 years is moderation. It's too late for moderation. Welcome back, everyone. As much as I hate to put you all through two consecutive days of The View, I just couldn't pass this one up. The American trader known as Jane Fonda appeared on the show to promote the doomsday cult known as climate activism. Of all the stupid things she said during her appearance, the most lacking in foresight was when she claimed, quote, it's too late for moderation because we only have 11 years left. First, let me just say this is a great example of how the left sets standards that they themselves never have to abide by. What if a right winger or a conservative went on a show like this and said that their agenda is so important that moderation isn't an option? They would of course decry that person as an extremist and they would be hounded off the public stage. As we know, it's different when Democrats do it, so instead what we get is this robotic applause from a hypnotized audience. <laughs> Just imagine the source of extreme policies and actions that these people will rationalize now that they believe that we only have 11 years left. They can easily rationalize censorship, or worse, of anybody who stands in opposition to their agenda. This is something I've been warning about for years on this channel. One way or the other, they're going to rid themselves of all dissent. Cannot vote somebody in that isn't brave enough to stand up and do the immensely difficult work that needs to be done mm -hmm. to save us from catastrophe. Mm -hmm. What she's basically saying here is that you must vote for a far left radical who's going to do whatever it takes to replace capitalism with socialism or even communism. It wouldn't be surprising since this is the woman who sided with the communist government over her own country. And I'm getting so tired of them calling their activism brave. There's nothing particularly brave about doing what she advocates. Taking the stance that she's promoting would be quite popular in academia, in the media, in Hollywood, and on social media. The brave stance would be standing in principled opposition to what has become a juggernaut. People who do so are mocked, ridiculed, demonized, and then canceled. I mean, we're, we're doing small steps, but that goes to, like, we're not having a real conversation yet. It's hard to have the conversation that's needed when we have the present person in the White House. Notice how she won't even look at Abby Huntsman. This is a person who's used to speaking in a bubble where nobody ever challenges her. I mean, she claims that we can't have a conversation because of who's in the White House. We can apparently only do that if a socialist resides in the White House. Moderation. It's too late for moderation. That's how these people think. They're going for total victory and total destruction of their opposition. These people hate us. The fossil fuel industry knew 30 years ago yeah, what yeah. they were doing and they lied and they hoodwinked. Yes, yes, today. Don't blame anybody except the fossil fuel industry. They try to make <coughs> us feel guilty. Do you know what I mean? I don't have this all in the video, but she rails on and on about fossil fuel companies and how they're to blame for all of this. What in the world does she think this world runs on? Does she even know that the TV show she's on right now uses lots of fossil fuels? All that plastic surgery that Fonda clearly has took fossil fuels to accomplish. I remember what LA looked like before it claimed that you couldn't <coughs> see your hand in front of your face. Eyes I burning. That's right. You heard correctly. Whoopi Goldberg is seriously trying to blame Donald Trump because LA is a Democrat run. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm looking you at them. You can't hear. That's, this is about you. Because it's it's not going to be a livable planet if we don't do what's needed. We have to be incredibly brave and we have to be willing to risk arrest and go into the streets and put our bodies on the line. Now she's scaring little kids, telling them that the world won't be inhabitable in 11 years and that they need to bravely put their bodies on the line? Again, this movement's looking more and more like a doomsday cult. It has all the familiar symptoms, including a long list of failed doomsday predictions with newly decoded end time dates. They've been making these predictions for 50 plus years. We're still here and the planet's still fine. Sure, things aren't perfect and there's plenty of room for improvement, like cleaning up all the plastic in the oceans, but the hysteria being generated by people like Fonda is just straight up nuts. Yes. We have the technology. Yeah. The Green New Deal lays out a framework for how to move forward to a wonderful future. But here we, we cut have a conversation. the military budget, which is 
totally bloated and bigger than any other developed country. $600 billion, the Sunrise Movement, the Extinction That's Movement. Right. I mean, all these young people who are leaving school to, to protest their future that we're taking from them. Let me just say, first off, the Sunrise Movement and Extinction Rebellion, both full of complete lunatics. These are far left extremist organizations. And that doesn't take full transformative okay. action is not going to be what we need. Well, we need you know better than I do. So I think one day you should run for the Senate. Great. And then you do it your you, way. But by yeah, that time, you. in the meantime, by that time, there's gonna I just, be a big problem. I just doesn't so work with me. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Really kooky ones too, like the Sunrise Movement, which resembles a communist cult. There's a definite pattern emerging here with Fonda. Fonda talks about slashing the military budget and promoting the New Green Deal, which would likely destroy the American economy, or at the very least, put us at a major disadvantage in competition with China, who wouldn't have any of these regulations. She also backs communist governments, and I notice she doesn't speak out against China, the world's biggest polluter. If we go the route that these doomsday cults want to take us, it will only hurt the United States and help China to overtake us. It really makes you wonder how much this country's media is controlled in some capacity by China. Okay, that's all I can take of this woman. If you want to support this channel, you can find all the relevant links in the description and the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.